Use the nearest neighbor algorithm to find a Hamiltonian circuit beginning at A. So starting at vertex A, we're going to look to see which one is the lowest cost coming out of A. So if I go to C, that's 4. If I go to B, that's 7. If I go to D, that's 6. If I go to E, that's 4. So I actually have two possibilities. I have two fours that I could go to. So that means we actually have two possibilities for a nearest neighbor algorithm. So there's going to be two of these. So let's say that we use the first one from A to C. So this will be the first possibility. So we would go from A to C. From C, I can either go 2, 3, or 7. So 2 is going to be the cheapest one. So that's going to be to B. So we've got 4 and 2. From B, I can't go back to A yet because I haven't hit the other vertices. So it's either going to be the 5 or the 6. So 5 is cheaper. So we're going to go to E. Okay, so then from E, I can't go to C or A. But then I would complete what I, or actually I would be hitting those vertices twice without hitting D. So I need to hit D and then see where that takes us. Okay, so I've hit all of the vertices A, B, C, D, and E. So now at this point I need to go back home to A. Okay, so that's one possibility. I'm just going to add up all of these costs. So 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 11 plus 6 is 28. Okay, but there's a second possibility. So let me use a different color so you can see the difference here. So instead of going from A to C, using that edge of 4, I'm going to go from A to E and use that edge of 4. So then from E, I can either go 7, 5, or 11. So 5 is cheaper, so I'm going to use that one. So that's taking me to B. Okay, from B, I don't want to go back to A because then I'll complete my circuit, and I haven't hit everything yet. So from B, I can either go to C, which is 2, or D, which is 6. So I'm going to go to C, but that's cheaper. So then before I can go home, i got to hit D, so we need to go to D. So that's a 3. Okay, so now I've hit them all, A, B, C, D, and E, so now I'll go back home. So that's the second possibility. So let's see what this one adds up to. So i got a 4 plus a 5 plus a 2 plus a 3, plus a 6. So this one's actually a little bit cheaper. So the optimal nearest neighbor Hamiltonian circuit would be the second one here. Okay, let's look at the same graph, but use a different algorithm. Let's try the sorted edges algorithm. With the sorted edges algorithm, we're going to sort the edges. So we're going to go from least to greatest. So just off on the side here, I'm going to write them all in order. So I have a 2, a 3, I've got the two 4s, got a 5, two 6s, two 7s, and an 11. I think I got them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, that's all of them. So now at this point, we're going to choose edges that don't cause three edges to meet at a vertex and don't cause any circuits until all of the vertices have been used. So the first two are always going to be used because that would never cause three edges at a vertex because you only have two and it wouldn't cause a circuit. So we're always going to use the first two. I'm going to use my two. And my three. Okay, let's look at four. So the four that's coming out of C is not going to work because that causes three edges to meet there. So we're not going to use that one. The other four going from A to E is fine. Okay, 
see the 5 going from B to E looks okay to me. It would only make two edges and there's no circuit closing out anywhere. Okay, let's look at the 6. We got a couple 6's. If I do the 6 from B to D, that causes three edges at B, so I can't do that. The other 6 actually will close everything out. So we're going to have our two edges at A and D, two edges at B, two edges at E, two edges at C, so that closes out my circuit. All of the other edges would make three edges at a vertex. So there is my sorted edges Hamiltonian circuit. If I add up all of these edges that I used, so the two, the three, the four, the five, and the six, we're going to get 20.